done. If I never saw another spreadsheet, it would be too soon. I can't believe we have so much to do. I thought the holiday period would be a lot easier. Is that? Yay! You ordered coffee for us. Oh, you're such a darling. A white chocolate mocha with whipped cream. Mmm, my absolute favorite. You don't know how much I needed this. Thank you. This is a much needed coffee break, but could have used this a few hours ago, not when we're almost done. I was wondering where you had disappeared to. I thought you had ditched me here with all the work. <laughs> I'm teasing. I know you would never do that. Because if you did, the consequences would not be pretty. We've carpooled to work before, so I know where you live. The office is eerily silent with just the two of us here. <sighs> the two unlucky souls who drew the short straw of having to work over the holiday period. But at least you got lucky. You get to spend more time with your favorite coworker. Wait, what? No way. I don't believe it. Why is that guy your favorite coworker? <sighs> Does he get coffee with you every morning and laugh politely at your lame dad jokes? No, I do. Does he share his lunch with you every day so you don't end up eating the same plain boring sandwiches? No, I do. Does he fill you in on all the juicy office gossip and make sure that you don't get any of the crappy assignments? No, I do. Why are you laughing? Oh, you're just messing with me. Ha ha, very funny. You're a regular comedian. But seriously, I need you to say it. Come on, say it. Say I'm your favorite coworker. I need verbal confirmation. See? <sighs> that wasn't so bad. All jokes aside, I am glad that you're the one who's here with me. I don't think I would have made it through these last few days without you. I said, despite your lame dad jokes sapping my will to work, what do you call the cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese. That's you. That's how you sound when you make those jokes. You can stop laughing. It wasn't that funny. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's the stapler. It just reminded me of the first time we worked together. Yes, our first assignment together. We were interns then, and we had to go to this dingy little backroom office and suffer through all that paperwork. I had so many paper cuts by the end. <sighs> then, like, two hours into the work, you accused me of stealing your staples. I was so offended, and that led into an argument, which led into more arguments. Well, yes. Technically, I did steal your staples, because mine had accidentally been buried under a pile of paper, but at the time, I didn't know I had. <sighs> we spent the rest of the week just doing paperwork and arguing. The only time we kept quiet was when our supervisor would pop in to check in on us. Ah, <sighs> it's crazy to think we ended the week as friends after all that. Our friendship began over a box of misplaced staples. <laughs> Time has really flown by since then. We've gone from interns to full-time employees. Half the time, I feel like I don't know what I'm doing, but luckily I have you by my side. And you also don't know what you're doing, so we can learn together. Someone is awfully popular. I think maybe you should reply, otherwise you might get a dozen or so more messages. Those are messages from her? 
why is the overly flirty new girl blowing up your phone like that? No, no, I'm not trying to start rumors about her or anything. She's just... She's not, like, a flirtatious person in general. I've seen her around the office, but when it comes to you, she's just... Ugh. Oh, come on. Don't act like you don't enjoy the attention she gives you. Your ego must be huge. Yes, she is definitely flirting with you. The way she looks at you and into your eyes. There's a big difference between the eye contact she gives everyone else and the lingering way she stares deeply into your eyes. It's like she's searching for something. She's always touching your arm or tapping you. She's always leaning towards you. And if you sit next to her, she's almost on your seat with you like she's never heard of personal space. Okay, sure. I do the same thing with you when it comes to personal space, but it's different. We've been friends for a long time. You seriously don't see it. What about all your conversations with her? Anyway, I just want to make it 100% clear I was not eavesdropping. I just happened to be nearby, doing something work-related, and overheard you talking to her a few times. She's always dropping in sly questions to see if you're dating anyone, or if there's anyone you're interested in. And if she's not, she's trying to play 20 questions your love life edition. She throws wild compliments your way and laughs like you're the funniest man in the world. You know, I'm not sure if you're pretending not to notice because you like the attention or you're just dense, but having known you for as long as I have, I think it's the latter. Give me your phone. I'll prove it. I bet her texts are chock full of heart emojis and she always texts back right away. No? Now I'm really suspicious. Come on, let me see them. You're not already dating her, are you? Okay, but you like her back, right? And that's why you don't want to show me? If that's not it, then why? Listen, we're just friends and coworkers. If you like her, then you should go for it. You don't have to feel weird about telling me the truth. I mean, good for her. She was able to be honest about how she feels. <laughs> What do you mean she's just thanking you? What is she thanking you for? You volunteered to take her place working during the holidays? That's not exactly evidence that you don't like her. You took her place for me? That doesn't make sense. Oh. Oh. You spoke to our supervisor when you found out I was going to be working over the holidays. You got into an argument with him over me being scheduled to work over the holidays. He told you, didn't he? I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have lied to you. I feel terrible now. I didn't expect you to go and start a fight with him over me. Why? Why what? Oh. I lied because I didn't want to seem weak to you. I'm not strong like you. You're open about your family problems and you can talk about it with me so easily. I'm not as strong. 
I didn't want to go back to my hometown and I wanted an excuse and work was the best one. I was just too embarrassed to say anything. What? Why are you hugging me like this? You thought I could use one? You thought right. You know, technically, hugging like this isn't allowed in the office, but since it's just the two of us, can you hold me a little while longer? <sighs> the truth is, I didn't want to go because it's just too much. There's too much family drama during the holidays, and I just feel like it all comes crashing down on me. When I go home, everyone makes it seem like I'm supposed to feel this non-stop joy and holiday cheer, and then because I don't, I feel like a stranger in the home I grew up in, and I don't know what to do. Then there's the constant comparisons with my siblings and my cousins and the people I went to school with. Maybe I'm not as successful or have my life as together as some of them. I know that, but being constantly reminded of it and being made to feel like a disappointment, I couldn't take that this year. I honestly didn't know how I would be able to handle going home and being subjected to all that again. I've tried bringing it up with them, but they just call me dramatic and dismiss me. <clears throat> I like it when you stroke my hair like that. Don't stop. Are you being serious? You want to spend the holidays with me? Just us? No, of course I do. I would really like that. We can make our own new holiday traditions. I like that. Remembering past holidays while still enjoying the one right in front of us. So, any ideas for what we should do for our new holiday tradition this year? <laughs> You're going to cook us a holiday feast. You. The same guy who makes the exact same lunch for a week and is fine with it. Forgive me for doubting your culinary skills. But truthfully, I would like that. Having a meal that you prepared for me. Then maybe we could also do a holiday movie marathon. Could we watch Home Alone? Many years ago, when life was much easier, my family would watch it every year during the holidays. I still watch it every year, even if it's just me. Do you have any movies you like to watch during the holidays? Scrooge and a Muppet Christmas Carol? Those totally fit with your character. I'd like to watch those with you. This can be our holiday tradition. Two people who want to spend the holidays alone, but together. Alone together for the holidays. If that makes sense. Does it? It made sense in my head, but now that I've said it out loud, I'm not sure. <sighs> oh, you understand what I'm saying. That's good. Wait, so when you said you volunteered to take the new girl's place, you did so that we could be together now? Why would you do that? Not that I'm complaining, I'm really glad you're here. You love me? I guess that explains- Wait, what? What did you just say? You mean you love me as a friend? No, you love me in a romantic way. You said it! <laughs> you said you love me! I can't believe it! I've been waiting so long for you to say that. I thought I would never hear those words. Wait, what am I doing? I love you too. I've been trying to say that for a long time, but I just didn't know how. I love you. Uh, 
I've waited to do that for so long as well. We really shouldn't be doing this in the office. As much as I want to. Wait, I didn't want you to stop hugging me. What are you doing? You said you could email to HR to make this official? <laughs> I'll officially be your girlfriend and that new girl will have to stop flirting with you. Yes, of course I was jealous. Wipe that smirk off your face. You're lucky you're cute. Since we're about done for the day, I think we should pack up and continue this back at my place. What do you say, boyfriend? Ha <laughs> ha